the frigid region. Learning objectives. Understand frigid zone areas. Explore frigid zone climate. Identify unique landscape features. Discover frigid zone vegetation. Learn about wildlife adaptation. Examine human life in tundra. Recognize research in Antarctica. Startup. The frigid zone, also called the tundra, is near the poles and it is extremely cold there. It is home to animals like polar bears and penguins. The harsh climate of the frigid zones does not support many plants. We see some plants during summer. Animals here have thick fur and light colored skin to adapt to the cold and blend with their white surroundings. Few people live in the extreme cold climate of the frigid zone. Inuits inhabit the Arctic region and in Antarctica only scientists stay to do research. Indian scientists work at the research center named India's Maitri. The other people lead a nomadic life, hunting and fishing for their livelihood. Area The frigid zone lies in the polar region and is also called the tundra. It is divided into North Frigid Zone and the South Frigid Zone. The Arctic region in the Arctic Circle is a North Frigid Zone with the North Pole at its center. It is surrounded by the Arctic Ocean. Similarly, Antarctica, the Antarctic Circle, is a South Frigid Zone with the South Pole at its center. It is surrounded by the Antarctic Ocean. Since this zone is near the poles, it remains frozen throughout the year. Antarctica in this zone is the largest cold desert on Earth. The surface is covered with permanent ice with an average thickness of 1.6 km, giving it the name of the White Continent. Some places in the North Frigid Zone, including Alaska, USA, the Canadian Shield, Canada, Scandinavia, Northern Europe, Siberia, Russia, and the islands of Greenland and Iceland. Climate The climate in this zone is extremely cold with average temperatures in Antarctica reaching minus 27.5 degrees centigrade in summer and minus 60 degrees centigrade in winter. Heavy snowfall occurs in this region making it a cold desert. Do you know? Aurora is a display of lights in the sky, visible in the polar regions. In the northern hemisphere, it is called Aurora Borealis and in the southern hemisphere, it is called Aurora Australis. As we learned in previous chapters, the frigid zones are at the ends of the earth. The earth is tilted on its axis at an angle of 23 and a half degrees causing the polar regions to have six months of daylight and six months of darkness. It means they have six months of summer and six months of winter. The sun never sets in summer and never rises above the horizon in winter. It results in six months of day and six months of night there. The main features of the landscape in this zone are icebergs and snowfields. They create unique and beautiful phenomena called auroras and diamond dust. Auroras are glows in the night sky that charged particles in the atmosphere cause. They are called aurora borealis in the Arctic region and aurora australis in the Antarctic region. Diamond dust is a cloud of tiny ice crystals at the ground level. Vegetation Owing to the extremely cold climate, we do not see much vegetation here. They appear in summer. Plants include algae, fungi, lichens and heaths. Lower latitudes have flowering plants and berries like cranberry, wild currants and blueberries. The Arctic is warming up faster than any other region on the earth owing to global warming. This is harmful to fish, birds, and marine animals. Wildlife Animals in the tundra region have thick fur and light-colored skin to adapt to the extreme cold there. 
The light skin color helps them to camouflage with white background. Many animals hibernate to cope with the harsh climate. Antarctica is a home to penguins, polar bears, arctic foxes, reindeer, white Siberian tigers, snow leopards, seals, whales, albatrosses, snow owls, snow flamingos and Siberian white cranes. People Owing to the extreme climate, there are not many people here. There are small settlements in the Arctic region but none in the Antarctica. A few scientists visit Antarctica in the summer to do research. India's research station in Antarctica is called Maitri. The tundra regions of Alaska, Canada, Greenland and Siberia are home to some people called Inuit. They are called Eskimos in the US and Lapps in Scandinavia. They lead a nomadic life. Their main occupation is hunting and fishing. They travel over snow using reindeer or dog-driven sledges. They used to hunt with harpoons, but now they use modern rifles. Their houses are built of snow and are called igloos. Mind Map Frigid Region Area The North Frigid Zone Arctic Region the South Frigid Zone, Arctic Region Climate Extremely cold temperatures, long periods of daylight and darkness, vegetation and plants, little, mainly lichens and heats, wildlife, animals like polar bears, penguins and seals, people, small Arctic settlements, Inuit population, and in Antarctic, research stations. Chapter at a Glance the frigid zone is near the two poles. It is divided into north and south frigid zones. The climate is extremely cold with heavy snowfall and long periods of darkness. Main landscape features are icebergs, snowfields, auroras and diamond dust. There is very little vegetation like including algae, fungi, lichens and heats. Animals have thick fur and light skin to adapt to the cold. Many animals hibernate in winter. Population is almost nil with small settlements in the Arctic and a few scientists doing research in Antarctica. Inuit people live in the Tundra regions. They lead a nomadic life hunting for food. Houses called igloos are built from snow in this region.